Did you play professional soccer? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my last team here was uh, FC AK. Uh, it was in the in the NFL, mm. which was like you know ju- just just below the Premier League. So it was just before making it into the big league. That's when I got my um, my knee injury. So at that moment, what was going through your mind? Like, Yo, it was like the end of the world, day. Eh? So what kept you going after that injury? Um, and I don't want to sound cliche, but like it's the truth. It's God. Uh, I, I really couldn't have done it without God's uh, help, you know, and mercy. Hello, hi, I'm Landra Jacobs, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanya Boysen. And today we have Shane Mushekwa on episode 10 of The Come Up. And today's topic is getting back on your feet. Yes, yes. And I just want to say that we are still actually living in a challenging time especially coming out from the pandemic. And most of us that started businesses or have businesses have actually taken a knock. And especially when you started planning and having goals set out for you, like to achieve certain goals, that also basically puts a setback in your life as well. So this episode is just to talk about um, how we can just get back on our feet again, basically just taking it one step at a time. I feel like all of us, we are just rushing as well. We're trying to make up for the two years instead of just taking it day by day and just um, staying consistent, doing what you can and what you don't have control of, leave it and control what you can at the moment. So over to you, Luandra. So today we will be talking to Shane about his journey from being a soccer player to coach and working as a DTP operator slash print specialist by day. Yes. Tanya, do you want to go in and ask the first question? Okay. So Shane, tell us more about yourself, your journey. Hi, guys. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, it's such a, a, an honor because I've seen your guys' channel and um, yeah, I enjoy what you guys do. And to be a part of it, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. feels good. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm from uh, Zim, from a town called Bulawayo, uh, from uh, a Kasi called Zilirazi. So um, coming up, you know, from that particular location in Zim, um, it's like the general the general goal is to be a soccer player. So you know, every boy dreams to be a soccer player, and because that's all you see around you, you know, and only a few the weird ones want to get you know office jobs and everything. So I I grew up you know just exposed to soccer. It was just soccer day in day out, like literally every day who play soccer you know so um, yeah i mean uh, it was destined to be i guess <laughs> you know <laughs> to be a soccer a soccer player all my life uh but then as life would have it you know uh, you know things happen but um yeah. i came i came to sa in 2008 um the plan wasn't really to pursue soccer i think i just came here just to see like you know uh what what else is there outside you know where i come from um, I think my official career in Zim ended in 20, 2006-ish, there about, um, because of the economy and everything. So if you guys know, um, the like the real, uh, like maybe dip in the economy was around 2007-ish to 2008-ish in Zim. So that's when like most of my, myself and most of my friends came here in pursuit of whatever. So um, because of the soccer part that, you know, had beat, beaten me from a young age, I found myself you know, going back to the field and trying my luck again. Uh, I played for, uh, I think from 2008, I played for three extra years, uh, two which were in Swaziland. Um, and that, that was just after my operation in 2000, in the, in, I think 10 there, but I can't remember exactly. So play- I had the knee operation, sorry? Did you play professional soccer? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my last team here was uh, FC AK. Uh, it was in the in the NFL, mm. which was like, you know, ju- just just below the Premier League. So it was just below, just below the prime, oh. you know, uh, just before making it into the big league. That's when I got my um, my knee injury. I did physio for like a good six or five months. And then when I came back uh, to the field, I had to go to Switzerland and try to revive the career. But, uh, you know, age caught up and <laughs> I couldn't play. I, I couldn't keep up to these young boys anymore. So I had to come back here. Uh, then, you know, by God's grace, I found um, a printing company, which was actually funny enough. My soccer manager was friends with this guy who owned a printing company. 
And so part of the contract was that if I don't make it in soccer, it's going to place me in a, in a printing company. Mm. So that's how my journey in the, in, in the print industry began, you know. So from there, um, I started, you know, looking around, like, what else can I do? So I started off, like, as a digital print operator, you know, just running the machines and everything. But because I like asking questions and I like doing things, you know, I ended up finding myself doing GTP, you know, uh, slash design, slash, as Luanda always puts it, like a print specialist. I'm like, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, um, I think I did GTP for something like six or five years. Mm. And um, four, four years into it, I got bored. And like, as always, like, I just get bored easily. Then um, I was blessed with a, with a, um, a bursary. Uh, that with triple A to do marketing, so did that for nice. yeah for uh, four years. Got a degree in it, and um, graduated in two thousand and nineteen, just before COVID. <laughs> so yeah, so you after that, so happy. Yeah. Before COVID. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> before the stress, but you see what happened in that because um, I was bored now with DTP and now excited with the new marketing. Um, you know, journey that I was about to start. Um, I actually majored in, in brand management. So I was looking to be a brand manager and then boom, COVID happened. All that had to be put aside. Oh, and um, for like a good two years, there was nothing available, you know? So I had to continue doing what I was doing, which was DTP. But, um, you know, I had to look for something else. And in, in, in the company, the only thing that I could do after DTP was do uh, sales, which is what I'm doing now. But um, last year, September ish, October ish, I got a, a, a new job as a sales rep for a new company, Light Chain Midrand. Um, so this is what I'm currently doing now. From that time of soccer up until now. So this is what I'm currently doing. I'm a sales rep that's, now. That's and nice. uh, yeah, it's challenging, like, but uh, I'm enjoying it's it. It's challenging, but you, <laughs> hey? you, it's challenging, but you broke through and you got something each year afterwards. Like you don't give up. You always say, okay, here's a gap. This is what I can no, 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 no. You don't just give Giving up. Giving up was never an option. option. Sorry, repeat. Sorry. No, I was saying, I was saying that giving up was never an option. Um, I always, I couldn't, I, 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 so my nature is like, I couldn't just do one thing at a time. Even the time when I was studying uh, marketing, um, mm -hmm. that's when I started uh, the soccer academy, actually, for the kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, the moment I found out that, you know, I, I can't play professionally, but I still wanted to be associated with soccer. I still wanted something to do with soccer, you know. So the only thing that I could do was coach, you know. So in 2000 and I think 12 fish there, about me and my friends started uh, a team and we registered in the Renberg uh, Football League. Uh, that team lasted for, I think, a good four years. And um, after that, then that's when I branched out and I did my own thing as, a, as an individual. Uh, started my own academy for the young kids. I uh, think my youngest player was like seven years and the oldest was like 18 years. Yeah. So, yeah, doing personal training. Um, I, actually, I enjoyed that more because I was working one-on-one -on -one with the kids. And that's when I found my patient that, you know, instead of dealing with, like, you know, a whole group, I, I was enjoying dealing with, uh, with you know, doing one on one And uh, that has stopped for now. I think it's on pause because I'm trying to focus on the sales, you know, um, just to get that career, like, you know, stable and then uh, planning to go back you know, to the one-on-ones. So my second question, when you got your injury, you said you were with the club, the soccer club, yeah. correct? That time. Were you in Zimbabwe as far as you were? No, you were I was, I was here. In, in SA? Yeah. Okay, so I just want to know, at that moment, you said it was your knee that you injured. So at that moment, what was going through your mind? Like, you were probably devastated as well. So what, kept you going after that injury? Yo, um, what was going on in, <laughs> in my mind a lot, eh? Um, it was like, yo, it was like the end of the world, eh? Um, I remember the first few months, I had no, actually the first few years, it took me years to mentally recover and mm. actually, um, you know, get back to life, if I can say. So the yeah. first few months I was devastated. Um, I didn't know what else to do. Even though, like, I a, a diploma in marketing from from Zim, um, at that point it, 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 it didn't matter. All I wanted was just to play, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I found myself, you know, going through a roller coaster thing, you know, with my emotions, with my spirituality, even. 
I was angry. Uh, the one emotion that I can remember was anger. Like I was really angry at God. I was angry at everyone. You know, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't a nice, a nice, a nice uh, period in my life. But the one thing that kept me going, I don't wanna lie, um, and I don't wanna sound cliche, but like it's the truth. It's God. Uh, I, I really couldn't have done it without God's uh, help, you know, and mercy and everything. Uh, he kept me going because I really don't know how I made it out of that mental block, that dark place, you know. Mm. I, it's just God, yeah. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> of course. You kept the faith. You just trusted God and you kept the faith. Yeah. yeah, I kept the faith. But it wasn't easy because for a long, for the longest time, um, I, I, I didn't feel like praying. I didn't feel like going to church or doing anything related, you know, that, you know, because I was angry at God. So, you know, mm. eventually, you know, because he's faithful, he was like, okay, come back, come back. You know, I got more for you, you know. <laughs> No, so, yeah. I can imagine that was your passion and that was like your career, your life, your goal. And you already yeah. set it. As I said at the beginning, we all had these, these plans and those goals and you already set it out like maybe you will be in the Premier League or, you know. Yeah. And team. at that point, can I just say something? At, at that point, I'd never written a CV in my life. <laughs> there was an adjustment, a 180. I didn't have to all my life. So I was like, oh, how do you compile a CV? You know, so yeah. <laughs> so as a salesperson slash entrepreneur, how do you stay motivated to keep going? Because basically as a salesperson, you, you are a business owner because you start on a blank check every single month. Yeah. Um, whew, how do I, like, yo, it's, it's really good. Eh? <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to think of, um, I'm trying to think of a, like a, the perfect answer. Like I, I can't really, you know, link it to anything specifically besides coffee and working out and everything. Ultimately, it's God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and and I think in my in, in my in my mind, I always go back and say like, you know, I don't want to go back to that place where I, I didn't. Uh, just after my injury, like I didn't have any direction. You know, it's just like I was just trying this and that. And um, I feel like this is a second chance. You know, in life that God has gifted me with, and I can't like think of anything else that I work. Well, I can think of many things that I can do, but for now. What I've been what I've been gifted with is this what I have here. Mm. And I'm saying, okay, this happened for a reason. I'm here for a reason. Mm. And I can't mess that up. You know, so I want to make the best of it. And yeah, I mean, just go all out and you know, don't take life for granted because you know things can happen and can be taken away anytime. Mm. And I'm always reminded of that that you know, I was on my way to to the Premier League and everything, and it just cut, got cut off like that. So I, I'll ask myself like you know, maybe I didn't, uh, I didn't um, value it that much because it was just there, you know, the, the talent, the, um, you know, everything that comes with soccer. Yeah. And maybe it was a wake up call to appreciate life more and, 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 you know, the blessings, the talents that we have. So I think that like, just that thought, like, I don't want to go back there and I don't want to find myself, you know, in the space where now I'm thinking about like, what else can I do? You know, I, I've been given something, make the best of it, you know, that's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the mindset that I have here. So Shane, yeah. where can people mm -hmm. find you if they want to um, make use of your printing services? Shela7, yeah. um, you can get me on that. Uh, Facebook, I don't really go on Facebook, but um, Shane7, Mushekwa, like Shane, S-E, S-E-7, <laughs> number seven, and E N Mushekwa, yeah. Um, yeah, Shane at Lowprint, .co.za, you can get me there. Um, yeah, that's basically where you can find me. Get in touch with him. Yeah. My link to yeah. the academy uh, yeah. in my Instagram. I'll put a link to the to the academy also oh, for people okay. want to check it out. Yeah. Oh no, that's awesome. No, thank you for that. And thank you for yeah. sharing your story. I just hope that it motivates other people that feel like or went through something similar to you. Yeah. That there are other opportunities. I know it yeah. might all be like. Um, how, how can you say like you still have that feeling of like oh my word I could have been at this point of my life but yeah. we move on and we just make the best of it um, it's, it's very inspir inspirational and hopefully you touch someone's um, life with the show but thank you everybody for watching thank you for joining us and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channels until the next episode see you then bye oh, cheers bye guys <laughs>